I had bad bugs in my truck. Man, I'm in a serious situation. I'm currently in Mobile, Alabama, man. Irvington, Alabama, that's my truck. Way over there, you can't see it. It's in the wheels right there. That's my truck at. Man, let me tell you what happened to me. I'm currently checked in the hotel due to a terrible situation, man. I had bad bugs in my truck, man. This has been one of the most um, craziest things that ever happened to me. Like, for us on the psychological level, man. You know. Um, a while back, about two weeks ago, I was, um, I noticed, man, I had been itching real bad. I'm like, yo, what's, what's going on, man? You know what I'm saying? So me thinking, you know what I'm saying, as I'm driving, I thought I let a mosquito, you know what I'm saying, in my truck. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times when I'm backing up to the dock, like at nighttime, if I'm picking up a load early in the morning or if I'm um, dropping a load off or whatever it is, I let both of my window down so I can hear what's going on while I'm backing up or while I'm connecting to a load or whatnot. So I'm thinking a mosquito got in my truck. So along with that being said, a while, well, the two weeks ago, I actually killed the mosquito. I'm like, okay, so that's that's what's going on. I, I don't let a mosquito in this truck and while I'm sleeping at night, he coming out and, and tagging me. You know what I'm saying? So then what I did, after even killing one mosquito, I still noticed like, yo, man, like what is... What is on me? So I even took to the measures of, I went and got one of the little blue things, like the little blue lights, that at nighttime, you know what I'm saying, like if you out chilling on the porch, you and your family, well, the little zapping thing where the mosquito will fly into the blue light and then the killer. I even bought one of them, man, and put actually put it on the truck. So at nighttime, I was hoping that the mosquito would go inside of that and actually just go ahead and kill itself, I guess you would say. So then, I still noticed, even after that fact, I still noticed, I was like, yo, Something ain't right, man. Like, something is really, you know what I'm saying, not right. Like, because I'm still getting bumps on me. You know what I mean? So, now, I'm noticing, like, these little whips on me. I'm like, yo, man, something's not right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, one day, you know, I had a nice peaceful rest. And a lot of times, I don't even think about it. Because when I get up in the morning, I'm instantly thinking about, thinking about my load, how I'm going to run it, how I'm going to do this. You know, so I'm even checking the pre-plan to make sure this pre-plan gonna be cool, yada yada, so on, so on, so on. Okay, so now it gets to the point. I'm rolling in the daytime. You know, I'm just kind of just, you know, just just stretching and whatnot, and just notice and rub my and just rub my arm, and I'm like, yo, like inside of my um, inside of my, you know, my sweater, or whatnot, and rub my arm, like, yo, what's up with all these bumps, man? So I made a couple calls. You know, what I'm saying I. Explain what was going on. Like, yo, man, so he be on your bed, boy. And I'm like, nah, bro, not in this truck, man. So I'm like, I never had bed boys before, bro. You know what I'm saying? I never had them before. So it's like, with that being said, immediately, you know what I'm saying, after getting off the phone, you know what I mean, I looked at Google, and bro, like, them are some ugly bugs, man. And then to just look at, the type of, like, they are true predators. Like, they only come out at night. You know what I'm saying? To, you know what I mean? Like, to suck on you, bite on you. And it's like, yo, they actually, they right now, they're in this truck. If I can find some proof, you know what I'm saying? And then, so off the rip, I'm sketchy. I'm in the now, no, nah, man, they ain't in the truck, bro. It's a mosquito because it's just like the whole mindset of it. So then, what I do I started to investigate, you know what I'm saying, my sleeping area, you know what I'm saying, real strong. So, it was daytime while I'm looking. I don't see any bugs, but I see like a scale. Sorry about that. I see like a, like a shed of skin, you know what I'm saying, like they shed, and they, they grow in different stages, and they shed. And man, when I saw that in that truck, bro, 
Man, you don't understand, bro. I didn't lose it. But I just felt so violated. I felt like, wow, it's they're in here right now. And you know what I'm saying? They wait for you to go to sleep. And man, bro, you don't understand, man. And that's actually why I'm here in the hotel now, man. Because when I found it out, you know, so I contact, you know what I'm saying, the, um, the proper people. Proper people that, that's in position to do something about it. And so now, um, I'm basically going to head home. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and take take my truck to the terminal, man. And then from the terminal, um, they're supposed to basically treat my truck and whatever situation we go for now. You know what I'm saying? I hope it be something that's very... Um, I get not necessarily complimentary, but something I can deal with, you know what I'm saying? But man, I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. Then after after coming to the conclusion that's what it is, I start to do even more deeper research. And it's just like, man, I hope I didn't I didn't take that home to my family, bro. Like, I'm I man, you just don't understand, man. Like, I just feel so what's the word I'm looking for? I feel violated, I feel nasty, you know what I'm saying, like you can't get it all, you know what I'm saying, you got the bumps on you, and then you got, man, you can't even rest, you can't sleep, you know what I'm saying, any little thing touch your leg, you looking down, and you patting your leg, and it, it messes with your mental, man, you know what I'm saying, that's really where I'm at right now, man, so, so far, man, in trucking, this has been one of my, this has been the greatest bad situation, I guess you would say. This has been the greatest bad situation. So now I'm checking out of here now and I'm headed home. And even now, man, like I ain't even I couldn't even lay in this bed, bro. I couldn't even lay in the bed. You know what I'm saying? I had to check the whole, you know what I'm saying, rims, check all that, check the cover. I laid on top of the bed. After staying up late, real late, and noticing I gotta get some sleep to make this drive tomorrow. Yo, I just Took half of this over here. I laid on this. Took half of this and then just folded it on top of me like a burrito. So, man, it's like, it's kind of crazy. Even when I was talking to, I guess you said like my driver leaders and everybody, I'm just like so embarrassed, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I cleaned my truck. You know what I mean? So, potentially too, it could have already been in there before I got in there. Then secondly, it could have, um... It could have been something that I picked up at picked up at the truck stop. Uh, I have no idea. But wherever it came from, it's in my truck and I gotta deal with it right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, yo, like I think I'm really just for the chill on even the truck stops, you know what I'm saying? Like the truck stop showers. I gotta find some kind of conclusion, you know what I'm saying, to handle all this stuff, you know. So, um, that's it, man. I hope I can give you guys an update. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. I probably wouldn't even release this video until a while ahead of time. Like, anytime I'm on the phone, you know what I'm saying, with, like, my trainers or whatnot, he do, he, he on the phone with me. I'm FaceTiming and talking to him. He's like, boy, you got me itching now. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, man, this is a very touchy, you know what I'm saying, thing. I mean, you know, got people looking at you like you, you ain't clean. and it's, it's just a lot, bro. You know what I mean? So, I guess I'll get up with you guys soon. I'm supposed to check out of here soon. Let's check out here around 11 o'clock. So, and I guess I'll give you guys an update on that. That's even if I release this video, man. i probably release this, man, when I'm so comfortable, so over the situation right now. But that's that exactly where I'm at right now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. On um, the conclusion and the solution for the bed bugs, like I said, I haven't really came up with it. From what I hear, that Ray does has a bed bug spray. But I know if I get into this another truck, or if they, uh, the company decides to allow me to keep this truck right here, you know what I'm saying? Which I would like to have another truck, you know what I'm saying? But if they treat the truck and kill them, you know what I'm saying? They, Ray does have like a bed bug spray. I think I'm gonna make sure, you know what I'm saying? I stay laced with some bed bug spray and do like a, a, a like I guess you said, like a treatment just for them. like every week or so, you know what I'm saying, spraying the line and stuff like that. So even with that, when it come down to the new truck thing, I'm more like, um, I really, if they do decide to give me one, I really want the same year or later model truck because I, I've been I've been trained on that truck, I know how to work it, you know, so I don't want to get like a new truck and don't know how to how to go down mountains, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. I don't, I don't want to position myself in that, but.
like I say, it's it's up to them and to what they what they would like to do. And you know, I totally understand that. Like I said, I would like a new truck, but the same same model and stuff. But you know, that's just something that's out of my hands. So I was just praying that man, they take care of me pretty good, and I can get past the situation and get back on the road and start making some money, man. You know, so. And then too, I just hope I didn't really, I didn't get that into my crib, man. That's like a big thing with me right now, bro. Really hope I didn't get that in my crib. Oh boy, so y'all stay blessed, man. Stay prosperous, bro. Like keep a positive mind. It's kind of hard for me to set all things in the situation I'm in right now. But y'all be blessed, man. Let's take care.